I am so not used to this. Sunderland actually protecting some of their assets and not selling them for ridiculously cheap fees. Shows how much things are changing at the club, hopefully. Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce that Anthony Patterson has signed a new long-term contract. Following a breakthrough 21-22 season, the goalkeeper has agreed a four-year extension at the Stadium of Light and cemented his day until 2026. An Academy of Light graduate, Patterson made his senior debut in November 2020 before making his league debut one season later ahead of a loan move to National League side Notts County. The stopper established himself as the Magpies number one and after being recalled to the Stadium of Light in January, he went on to keep nine clean sheets in 21 games as the club returned into the Skybet Championship. That still feels very good to say, by the way. Patterson said, I've had a brilliant year and couldn't be happier to have signed a, no a new contract. I joined the club when I was 10, so to play my part in promotion and winning at Wembley Stadium was a dream come true. I'm now focused on the new season and improving my overall game to ensure I prove myself in the championship and continue to help the team. Alex Neal added, There is nothing better than seeing someone that has come through the academy and is Sunderland through and through, doing the business in the first team. It is great to reward him for what he's achieved, but he knows he can't rest on his laurels because the easy part is done and the hard work now starts for him this season. So as you can see there, Anthony Patterson has of course signed a new four-term, four-term? I can't talk, four-year long-term contract. Um, and it's fully deserved. Towards the last... Towards the middle stage of last season, he was very um, kind of shaky a little bit. I mean, it didn't help that he was up against Wickham, for example, which is one of the most physical teams Sunderland will ever come across, really. But he was a bit shaky at the start. But then once he gradually got used to wearing the num being in number one and being the main goalkeeper, he really proved his worth. The particular highlight of a save, there's two key saves I remember him making, and he's made a huge of them, host of them. But, I mean, the two in particular I remember was one at Oxford back in April when the score was 1-1 and he literally clawed the ball out of the back of the net um, obviously without the hold of the ball crossing the line but that save was as good as the winning goal in that scenario and then the most important one was at Wembley when Sam Vokes had the chance at 1-0 when Bailey Wright mistimed a header that was going backwards and did really well to react very quickly to one of the league's best forwards so he absolutely deserves it. And again, it's an, it's like with Elliot Embleton, like with Dan Neal. If we do sell these guys, then it means that we are going to get a good hefty profit for them. Obviously, they, cause they didn't, didn't cost anything. They came through the academy, but we're protecting our assets. And best case scenario, we're getting people from Sunderland and know what it means for Sunderland to be a regular in the team. But anyway, that's it, guys. Um, Anthony Patterson has signed a new contract. So that's another one done. Hopefully, Bailey Wright and Patrick Roberts and Ross Stewart next, but we'll wait and see. Take care, and remember in the analytics, I looked about 30%, about nearly 50, nearly half of you that watch are not subscribed. So if you could hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, hugely appreciated as always, and I will see you soon. Love you all lots, take care.